Hi, my name is Mikey Dredd, and today we're going to talk about why bowling balls hook. To answer that question, we're first going to have to understand how a ball rolls down the lane. There are three phases of ball motion. First, a ball skids, then it enters into the hook phase and finishes rolling through the pins. But what causes a ball to roll in this manner? Upon release, the ball has two forces acting upon it. One, the ball speed, the direction it's traveling, and the second force is the force of the rotation applied to the ball from the bowler. Let's take a look at these forces in action. Let's slow that down so we can see this happening in a much easier fashion. As the ball comes off my hand, you'll see the ball traveling in one direction down the lane towards the third arrow, but rotating in a completely different direction. At this point, the ball begins to change direction as the ball speed decreases and the rotational energy increases. When the ball is rotating in the same direction as travel, it rolls, like so, through the pins. Here's a lower angle, so you can see the rotational direction. This motion is governed by the laws of physics, and our understanding of mathematics has allowed us to study further how to take advantage of these forces and increase our scoring potential by allowing the ball to be completely rolling as it strikes the pins. I appreciate your time, and I hope you go out there and throw some strikes of your own.